What's up guys, Jace Two Cents here and I'm gonna build a computer today. I'm building a computer for my brother-in-law. If you guys don't... When I started this channel all the way back in 2012, we had identical systems. I had built my AMD 8120 uh, FX system, which had white tubing and all that. If you guys go back to my very first videos, you'll see that. Well, he had a matching system. He liked my build so much, he was like, build me one too. That's still the system he's using to this day. Let's just say it's not exactly getting the job done. It has two GTX uh, 680s in it, which is not terrible, but I mean, today you need more than two gigs of VRAM. And um, it's still running an 8150, I think, because I had an 8120, he had an 8150. But I digress, he's got a 128 gigabyte SSD and he's got a hard drive in there and he's got water cooling that has been running for seven years, on, almost seven years. It's time for an upgrade. So. We actually are gonna be celebrating Christmas with him this Sunday, a little bit late because of his work schedule. So I thought how better to brighten up his holiday than to give him a brand new AMD rig. I got new merch. It's available now, crowdme.com slash jc 2 cents We got zip up hoodies, we got tri-blend, we got a new logo. I digress since 2012, it's a digress logo. You guys have been asking for that. But anyway, well, guys, we got all kinds of stuff. Zip up hoodies, beanies, polos. Don't take my word for it, because obviously I can't do this ad. So just look in the description below and you guys will find the link. Thanks. <laughs> so he's a huge fan of AMD. I, we talked about building him a system earlier this year and we talked about budgets and this and that. And he's like, well, I've always stuck with AMD because I think they're a good value. And obviously now they're not only a good value, they're an amazing performance for that same value. So we're gonna stick with AMD for him because that is just, like I said, what he likes. So we got the 2700X right here. This is the highest end GPU you can possibly get right now, currently on the X470 platform, at least until after CES, there might be something new. And if it's backwards compatible with motherboards, then we'll probably upgrade him in the, uh, after that launches anyway. But this is the best you can get currently. I'm using the Asus Crosshair 7 Hero Wi-Fi board. I, I have a lot of X470 boards I could have used. I'm specifically using this one because he currently has the Crosshair 5. So it's literally gonna be like, the 2018 or last couple of days of 2018 version of what he has from 2012. So that's gonna be uh, that's gonna be fun. I'm using an EVGA 850G3 Supernova power supply with a black sleeved cable set for that. More than enough power because of the parts that we're using. And I'm kind of going all over the table here. This right here is actually one of my Titan X's out of Skunk Works. Uh, remember one of these went in the editing rig? Well, this is the other one and it's going into his. He's always been a huge fan of Skunk Works, so I thought it'd be neat to give him a piece of history out of that build. We are gonna be giving him a HyperX 960 gigabyte um, SSD. No M.2s for this build, because I honestly don't have any, they're all gone. So we can see about upgrading him as time goes on as well and in terms of storage. But I'm also giving him a one terabyte Seagate uh, Barracuda drive. He doesn't play a lot of games. He's got his favorite games like Neverwinter and Battlefield and stuff like that. So this should be more than enough storage to where he can actually put all the games he likes to play on the hard, on the SSD anyways, and put all his family photos and videos and stuff on the hard drive. I'm gonna also have it rigged up so that we can add more uh, storage later on as needed. And then for water cooling, we're actually going with soft tubing because he loves the look of white tube. Yes, I know I could have gotten white rigid tubing, but we're gonna go with soft tubing because we wanna stick with ease of serviceability because we're gonna be changing out the, the hard, or not the hard drive, but the CPU and all that stuff. I wanna be able to easily remove it. Remove I know someone said I was having mini strokes. I think I just proved their point. Now, the real reason why I'm using soft tubing though is he loves the look of white tube. We've got it right here, sort of just gravity, sort of stretching it out because it's pretty coiled up. Um, but also I wanna show that not, I get, all, I get all these comments, people like, I want a water cool, but I'm afraid to hardline. It's like people have started thinking that hardline's the only thing you can do. So we're gonna break that stigma today. Obviously we've got our EK Supremacy Evo AMD uh, water block. It's an RGB block, all of our compression fittings, our uh, reservoir pump combo, which is sleeved, thank goodness already. We are going with dual 360 millimeter radiators because that's how we like to do. We like to go with bigger than we need to. One from Alpha Cool and one from Fractal Design. This is actually a, uh, a disassembled Kelvin uh, expandable AIO from Fractal Design, but they actually use Alpha Cool radiators. So that's why they're identical. This one just says Fractal Design on it. Speaking of Fractal Design, he said he wanted to go with a Define S case. The Define S2 has launched since then. Not to mention it's gonna make this really easy to water cool in because I'm not just doing a build today. I'm gonna see how fast I can build this. 
So we're gonna start a timer, or at least Phil's gonna start a timer, and I think periodically throughout the montage, he should show a little bit of a progress of how long it's been. And let's see how fast Jay can build a, uh, a water-cooled rig. Oh, I forgot to fully talk about the memory. Um, G-Skill Flare X, because Ryzen and best memory you can get for Ryzen. Let's do it. I'm gonna be singing that the whole time in my head. All right, so two hours and 48 minutes later and a big ass mess and a coolant now that we're not happy with, <laughs> we're done. No, it's not sitting at BIOS. I know the parts work though, because we've already used this motherboard and the CPU before. We just realized that green was the only coolant that I had. I don't have any distilled water in here, believe it or not, none whatsoever. So I used the green just to, because I thought maybe it wouldn't look as bad as it does. But because of the white tubes with the green, it looks very wrong. Like it needs to be clear. So now I've got to drain the system, which I don't have a drain in here. I just drain it through the, through the reservoir, unbolt it and hang it out the side. One of the nice things about soft tubing. And uh, then I have to flush it, which won't take long. It's fresh coolant. And then probably go get some water and put it in clear. But two hours and 48 minutes. And as you can see, we decided to also not go with the front radiator because there's no way I was gonna make it look clean. Absolutely none. The triple rad is plenty. I'm surprised at how much air the NZXT fans move. If you want to know the truth, there's a ton of air coming through here. So I was worried they weren't going to move, like they were going to be more airflow optimized. But when they're all lit up and stuff, it'll look kind of cool. I mean, that's the other thing too. We could tie green in by making the hue shine green, and then we have a green theme. If we we're going to do that though, we should have done the black tubing. So, because we have black tubing too. All right, do we have motherboard lights? Yes, we do. Power button? Yes. Look at the R look at the, the reservoir. I did an RGB reservoir. <gasps> Bubbles. Okay, it's still going. P2, memory's passed. Yay! <laughs> hey, two hours and 45 minutes isn't bad if you don't count the time it took me to drain the system. But hey, I, I hooked up all the RGBs. You got the RGB up here, which, uh, you know, doesn't really do much because the radiator is so offset, it blocks a lot of the light. But everything looks good to me. Idling at a good temperature. We can overclock this biatch. Both drives are showing up in the uh, boot manager, so that's perfect. Now, I just need to get the OS installed and stuff. So. This is what happens when you have to get work done and make a video at the same time and make a computer for someone that you promised a computer for a long time ago. So follow on social media if you guys wanna see whether or not he likes it. I'll post a picture and embarrass him. Like I said, Sunday, this Sunday, the 30th, I think it is, is when we're having our get together with uh, that side of the family. So you guys can follow at Jace Two Cents or on Instagram, same thing, at Jace Two Cents. Guys, thanks for watching. And as always, we'll see you in the next one. And for the record, I could have built this in about an hour and a half if I didn't care about neatness or wire management or functionality. I could easily just, we could have built it on a table and called it 
first boot. But that I'm actually okay with presenting to someone as a gift. And if they don't like it, well then I'll cry. 